everyone we're in for a treat uh last minute scheduled match uh between uh grandmaster penguin gm uh worm paka versus killer beast on attack and true player so this has just started this is the first game we're in the open section group b we have a two minute time control uh we just got done watching um uh, a little bit over an hour ago, like an hour and a half ago, uh, we were watching Killer Beast on Attack and True Player play against Chicken and Zizon. Time fairly close, True Player slightly down. True Player probably going to need to retreat this queen. Uh, of course, he would like a pawn to come in here, but pawn just not present. Oh, he sacks his queen. Trying to gain a bit of time. Pawn wins immediately. Pawn check, king over, rook check. But the pawn is not forthcoming. And now he has some worries. As this looks dangerous. So probably he wants to cast a lot of danger. Don't know about that. It's not one threat, not the other threat. Now more pawns are needed to come in here. And Killer Bee's attack is mated. If pawn takes queen in, oh, not mated. I'm sorry, queen takes. I am blind. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna see a queen sack here? Okay, that gets him safer. Threatening knight in mate. Queen mates for Killer Bee's. Uh, so what happened there? Was there a resignation, I guess? So the first first blood goes to Penguin and Wurmpaka. Penguin being very aggressive. Pawn is great. Tempo's the rook. Knight takes. Try to promote. Yeah, first we take that knight off. Knight check. Take. Yeah, this is crushing for Penguin. Pawn is great. Oh, he just takes the bishop. Yeah, he was super safe. Where Paka gets us some other mate on Killer Bees on attack. All that material. Yeah, this is not true player's best opening. This V and Shadow um, is very vulnerable to pawn at h3, which is why people who play the Blitz Bullet. They try to push h3 at some point after they fee and shadow, but you need to do that before they get a pawn to drop on you. Here, Lippy's on attack is attacking. He probably wants some diagonals. He could potentially take the knight and then threaten, like, new knight in. But his king is slightly vulnerable here. So, knight at e6 is a possibility. His pawn can't take or he's mated. Wurmpaka, is he going to give up the queen, I assume? Can he live with king up? King up, knight check looks scary. Again, knight at e6, very good for Wurmpaka. Wurmpaka on initiative. Oh, Wurmpaka just takes a piece so his partner can mate. Our score is 3 nothing favoring Penguin and Wurmpaka. Means are traded on the Wurmpaka board. Uplaya is the one attacking. The queen probably going to benefit him. Rook mates. Uh, Wurmpaka up time. Wurmpaka is going to stall. So probably Penguin's going to get to clear off all these troubles. Probably one set of queens are going to trade. Because if the queen retreats, it's kind of hard to hold down the fort. Maybe he takes his pawn, something like that. But just great development from Penguin. Probably he wants to throw like a bishop in here. They both want to throw a bishop in here, actually. A bishop in would be very good. 
Okay, this reply hangs at night. You can see the queen can take it. Not looking great for the true player team, true player castles to try to get out of danger. But there's just a lot of extra material for Penguin here. So this is a pretty big threat, even Queen takes as a threat. Uh, pawn check might be good. He would like to get a Rook first, Rook at A1, followed by Pawn check. Question for true player. But he would need a rook for that. It's part of just forking a rook off. They can't even take it because this is mate. Wait, is it his move? Or, yeah, so he can't can't take it because of the mate threat. Stops the mate threat. That just hangs a piece. True player has been hanging a bunch of pieces yet. I think that's too sloppy for a game of this level. That queen is tempoed and... Oh, discover check. That's fun. Now we want to see maybe pawn at d2 or knight at d2. I don't like that trade. Unless it was really good for his partner. Which, honestly, this game is going too fast for me to keep track of everything. The problem with True Player is often when a troop... Oh, that's, that's crushing because of the pin. Often, one of True Player's biggest assets is he's extremely fast. So, okay, that's just on wins a piece. So, True Player is extremely fast. Um, often, if he gets down material, he can win in a time scramble. But you can't win in a time scramble versus Penguin. Penguin is just literally the fastest player on the planet. So it's just a rough matchup. Killer Bee's on attack, trying to trade for his partner. A lot of these squares are cut off, but how do you attack the dark squares? You just take the pawn for now. Knight check, I guess. At, at worst, you get to take this bishop, at least you're safe. I think I like knight check. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think that's very safe. I guess you can... Uh, probably taking the bishop is best. As if rook takes back, you have knight check. Okay. Finally he takes this, but he doesn't have a bishop in the hand, so he's going to lose the knight, like, immediately. Oh, queens are traded instead. So attack and defend here. This pawn, still a thorn in penguin's side. Penguin has a lot of extra material to play with. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Knight here mates. That's a win for Penguin. Up 14 seconds. Maybe 18 seconds. Then our score is 5 nothing. Aver and Penguin and Wurmpaka. Knight check, I assume. Mm, not sure I like that one. But I guess it's okay. Killerbee's on attack is attacking, true to his name. Going after these diagonals. Queen in is a good defender. Knight check, I assume. Oh, let's work over. Any castle? That's usually weakness.
So threatening Rook takes Knight. I like this Rook move. It keeps the Rook from taking the Knight, and you're threatening Rook takes Rook. You get the Bishop planted further in the position. Uh-oh. Uh, Penguin is going to be able to win this at chess pretty easily. Oh, that's a nice find. Wins the queen back. Maybe true player lives. By the way, the queen in here, huge threat. Uh, if you're Wurmpaka, I think you have to consider knight check to try to get the initiative. But the queen guards, at least for now. Ooh, I think you should have traded those. I don't think you can afford not to trade them. Well, this is a nice find, though. I think that's going to be mate for Wurmpaka. Uh, interesting. Oh, nice find. Great mate for Wurmpaka. Our score is 6 to nothing, favoring... Penguin and Worm. Killer Beast on attack, he likes to do this pawn thing to threaten the knight, and trade a bunch, and eventually be up a pawn, have a decent position. Good player could win a queen, uh, although he's sacked a queen already, so not much of a win. Uh, but if a pawn mates for him, he is slightly down time though. So he's just going to take the rook, which makes a lot of sense. Often better to take a free piece than to trade a piece. Uh, this pawn can land here. Okay. Penguin has great development. Now the rook guards the back rank. It's going to be much harder for a true player to mate here. True player probably wants a knight or g8, if I'm guessing. Partner is going after a knight. Penguin grabbing some pawns. Killer Bee's attack doesn't have much to work with here. Doesn't have many blockers for these diagonals. Oh, we're going in on the dark squares. He's trying to get safe here. Should we play a still attacking? Knight could come back and attack, but he goes to defend instead. Knight check. Oh, caught a bad pre move. Oh, that's a pretty crushing move. Now diagonals are going to be weak. I think it's going to be mate real soon. Yeah, just queen up his mate. Unless a rook lands there, and then a pawn in. Alright, our score is 7-0, favoring uh, Penguin and Wurmpaka. Hey, Jack James. Good match yesterday with Y boss G and Crazy 8. Oh, nice. Yeah, Wurmpaka is sick. Uh, Penguin is Andrew Tang. He's a grandmaster, uh, mostly known for Bullet. Uh, he plays a lot of Bullet. He's widely considered to be uh, the fastest Bullet player in the world. Um, so he plays a lot of Hyper Bullet. Uh, he mostly plays on Lee Chess rather than Chess.com, but extremely strong player. And he also streams. Uh, he streamed a lot while he was in university, but he's since graduated, so he streams a lot less. But, uh, entertaining guy. Basically, if you watch Penguin, usually he plays Bullet or Hyper Bullet, and sometimes he plays with, like, a text-to-speech guy. It, it's, like, with a thick Russian accent who just, like, explains what's happening with all the moves. <laughs> it's really weird. He'll be like... Be like, on takes knight, good move, except in a Russian accent, which I can't do. 
Okay, so queen over siege. Oh, okay, well, right now penguin is defended. Rook mates. Oh, this is an adventurous king, but he doesn't have enough material to do anything about it. Penguin is going to win this pretty easily. No blocker. If he had a blocker, even pawn in was pretty good. Our score right now is 8 to nothing. Favor in Penguin and Wurmpaka. See, I don't like this knight move. you got to move the pawn before the knight to prevent pawns from coming in. He's lucky his opponent did not get a pawn that game like he did several other games. This knight has nowhere to go, so it's probably going to sack. Which means you're just down a knight for a pawn. He's looking for an attacking move, which he can do instead. They're down 11 seconds already, which means true player is probably going to be chest. Knight takes bishop, I assume. And then some pawns will land in. Oh, interesting. Temple and the bishop. The bishop moves away, then it's no longer on this key diagonal. You're threatening future promotion. I like this pawn move. Wurmpaka up a whole bunch of time. Wurmpaka probably is going to wait till his partner. Uh, Rattles a few moves off, but eventually he probably has pawn takes pawn. Keep going in on the light squares. Killer bees will take this, take the pawn, and take back whatever lands here, if I had to guess. Another possibility is Wurmpaka might be waiting for a knight for b5 to temper the queen, but I think he's going to go more aggressive. They have to watch out for draw, though. Wurmpaka needs to worry that if they repeat too many times, it's a draw. Ooh, this is a pretty good attack for true player. But I think he's running out of steam. He wants to promote the pawn, maybe. Or knight takes knight if knight takes. Killer bees in attack needed a rook, a new rook to hold that, and he didn't get it. So their time advantage came into play. Our score is now 9 to nothing. Favor and Penguin and Wurmpaka. Okay, uh, so pawn or bishop is great for true player. Wurmpaka up about four seconds, so he is going to stall rather than giving the pawn. And because of that, Penguin will have the opportunity to protect that with probably knight out. But if he's given a few moves, he could even play like e4, attack the knight. He could play king over. He has a lot of possibilities to protect it. But the key is being up time. Honestly, Ornpaka, <laughs> if he would to Really rub it in, he could play a g6. Because there's no pawn in take. And I don't know if you've heard any of these high level matches, but Wurmpaka. Um, Sometimes plays with a bunch of people in the house discord. They'll get four people, get everyone in the call, and play some like 2600 plus bug house. And he's, he's funny. He jokes around while he's playing. And he calls everyone Mr. He'll be like, Mr. Penguin has a good position. Mr. True Player is lacking a pawn. Okay, this defends f2. 
Doesn't lose a bishop. G6 still possible. I think Penguin still wants to get in a few moves to get rid of that. Yep. And now Penguin's in charge. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. But it was just too much time to make up. <sighs> Penguin let go of check, which he shouldn't have. Whoa, true player sacks his queen. <laughs> now we see how this king gets out. <laughs> so, he wants some material from his partner. But, because Penguin is so fast, or in Paka, up time, it's not going to give that material. Bees attack, attacking this knight, so if the knight retreats or moves away, it's a free pawn. But really, true player needs more than a pawn, he needs a knight. He could play knight out, but I don't think he's going to do that. He's going to sit more. Oh, nest and chat is this BWC? It is BWC. Bugos World Championship. Sitting it down to the last second, not a good strategy for the true player team, um, which I think true player may not realize. A true player thinks he's usually like one of the fastest players at the table. I don't think he knows who Andrew Tang is. He doesn't seem to realize that Penguin is a hyper bullet player and the best in the world, and he's not going to outspeed him. So this is a terrible strategy from Trishbar, but we'll see if it pays off. I think eventually he will either push the pawn or knight out or something like that, but he wants to make it into a time race. I don't know why. And that's me. Our score right now is 11 to nothing, favor and Penguin and Wurmpaka. Should we play his sacked again? Sacking just not a good strategy. You're, you're playing down a piece versus a Grandmaster. Okay, the, this sets up a Rook mate. Rook check, Knight there. Okay, he's defending. Rookmate on the board again. It's going to be hard to hold this queen. This defends. It could become a queen trade. <coughs> Ooh, rookmates for true player. <coughs> Rook is pinned. They're slightly down. <coughs> <coughs> trying to get the rook file is up the queen in the process he wants this to be taken of course it won't be two player playing some very tricky moves and killer bees attack has a decent attack Time is fairly even. Knight check is a threat. This game might go to team true player. Bishop still guards the mate. So king comes over, we take the bishop. If he goes down, we take the rook. They got on the board. 11 to 1. Favor and Penguin and Wurmpaka but not a clean sweep. Guys have come to play.
The two player has this castle king, it's being attacked. Oh, rook mates for two player. Uh, they are down time though. If they were up time, then knight check could have won a rook. They've been up a second instead of down a second. Two player still attacking. Knights are good. Oh, is this bishop sack come? I guess not. True player coming in on the attack. Reads are good for true player. Jekyll are on the attack as well. Great move. Tempo's the rook. You can just take that. Mm, I would have taken that, but this is probably safe too. This has got to be mate for Killer B's attack. Knight check is mate. Clean up. All right. <laughs> we might see the comeback of the year here if they can just sweep it out. But our score is now 11 to 2, favoring Penguin and Wurmbaka. Killer B's an attack. True player maybe found a winning strategy. Ah, whoa, queen takes knight. It was really good there. As if pawn takes back, knight here was mate. So penguin could have sacked the queen for the knight. Now a rook mates for true player. Well, not anymore. Queen mates for true player. Don't think this queen is going to come. He's trying to get in, like knight takes, new knight in. Going for that queen for his partner, but it's just not going to happen. Queen takes knight is interesting. Oh, I hate that move. Maybe not bad. Uh, knight mates, by the way. Like, if it were killer beast move right now, a knight would mate. There's knight check. And if we take this way, we have queen and knight check. Now he has a knight. That's mate. Take that, take that. Queen takes, he has a mate. Knight check, he's not going to miss this. So we can't take with this one because it's mate. Rook in. Okay, unfortunately true player gets mated, but that was a great attack by J Killer. I think he was right to go for that. Here the move order is wrong. Okay, luckily Penguin did not get a pawn, that critical position where he could just like win everything. True player picks up a knight. Maybe just put a pawn here. Tempo the bishop wins the material. Oh, he's going after the queen. Yeah, that's not a great idea. Now he's lost material instead of winning material. This is pinned. Uh, okay. Knight just goes back. Uh, that just lost a knight for nothing for true player. Not recommended. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for true player. New knight in and then rookwood mate. He'll have new knight in and rook and mate, and he can always take a free rook. Rook mates. Oh, tempo in the queen. I like that. The idea is, that's a great move, because now he's going to have knight takes pawn. Queen sacks. Oh, killer beast attack got the mate. 12 to 3. Favor and penguin and worm paka. I was focusing too much on the two player board.
it's hard not to because like the true player he attacks fast the true player's philosophy is let's just get him out of the way on move 10. he's always going for like the early attacks killer beast attack is more of a grinder like he he doesn't attack like from move one he develops a few pieces and then all of a sudden start in move like 10 or so um he just gets this massive attack it's just like a slow grind hard to stop penguin up one second uh so why is penguin sit in what does true player want maybe he wants okay he's coming in on the dark squares uh taken with queen Making this threat, but a pawn can just land in here. Can we take that? Maybe. So queen mates for true player. There is a queen in take. True player is actually up time this time. Oh, rook mates for him. Yeah, that's that's forced. Queen or rook come for sure. He has like a few checks. But this game should be over. That's enough time for J Killer to get the maiden piece. Additionally, because of this threat, I mean, Trupla, he could, you know, make attacking moves, but probably just. Better to wait. There's the rook. That's mate. All right, twelve four. Favor and penguin and Wurmpaka. E2, loose square, covers it. Oh, gives up a pawn. Should have played pawn takes, I think. Two players' position looking a little bit loose. Probably get some knights in here. He wants to undermine the knight so he can take the bishop. Uh, Warm Pocket is the one attacking this game. But J Killer is getting a bit safer. Oh, true player picks up a queen. Okay, making a threat. Now he's attacking. I liked knight on g4 a little better for defensive purposes. You could take this take this pawn though. Maybe you take okay. Gets the knight in a better position. Maybe you want to get your queen active. Okay, gets this queen active a different way than I would have. Yeah, just take this a bunch of times. This is looking really good for true player. And then this pawn. Might be getting away from him a little bit. Maybe queen up. They are up a bunch of time. Like bishop plus rook would be good for him. Not sure what else he aspires to. There's that queen up move. Maybe a pawn in. Oh, puts the queen in. That's fancy. Discovered, oh, discovered knight check is going to be. Oh, why? I would have brought this other queen in. Why, why move this queen? Queen was well placed. Uh, but J killer is attacking as well. And that queen is going to do it. So 
Our score is 12 to 5. <clears throat> At one point, I think the score was like 11 nothing. <laughs> so this is like huge comeback by a true player, killer beast on attack. Hey, Illustrac, 27 buck house is disgusting. There's players who deserve 2700. What is true players rating? Um, I think True Players Raiden is like 1950, something like that, right now. Somewhere between 1950 and 2000. Um, you, like his actual strength is 2200. He should be 2200. Um, the True Player is underrated, but he's played a lot of random pool. Yeah, young UK baller. Looks like we're having a bit of a comeback here. Uh, but it was just a huge lead that Penguin and Wernpaka, the came to in the beginning, so it's going to be a tough road for the comeback. Killer Beast on attack is true to his name, attacking. So the Rook can take this pawn, uh, but he's looking for attacks first. Queen mates for Wurmpaka. <clears throat> so Penguin's going to go after this queen. Knight is pinned. Queen mates. Uh, now knight could be good. Okay. Well, this bishop helps guard. Jekyller is a lot safer. Oh, queen still mates, actually. Queen check, queen takes pawn. Using the rook. Knight. Knight check would be good for him. Mm, not sure about that one. Well, now a pawn is quite good. I thought pawn on the other side was even better. Okay, that's mate. Nice mate by Wurmpaka. And penguin up time, he can just stall. So Wurmpaka, through his attack, was able to put a lot of pressure on True Player. This True Player had to hold a queen for that whole time. It turned out he was able to get him with the rook. Our score right now, 13 to 5, favoring Penguin and Wurmpaka. And his first to 15, so maybe only a couple games left, maybe more. And Yuki Bell says J Killer might not be one of those players. Might not be one of what players? Players who should be 2700? I think J Killer should be at least 2600. Whether he deserves 2700, I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, certainly within the normal Raiden swings, his Raiden makes sense. <laughs> A lot of the older players, or players who have played for a long time, have slowed down. <laughs> so, <laughs> the older you get, like, the less bullet you play. Um, so, chicken, killer bees on attack, used to be faster than they were. But they still play just super strong moves, and they have great attacks. Jay Killer been partnered in 1902 play for a while. Yeah, but I, I agree. I, I think he has benefited from an underrated true player, for sure. Oh, Penguin has a nice attack. True player has, like, no development over here. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy win for Penguin and Wurmpaka. J-Killer does not have an attack. J-Killer getting attacked. True player lost a lot of material. Penguin up five seconds. Wurmpaka gets the mate. Our score 14. Wait, what? It says 15 5. Maybe there was an abort in there somewhere. 
if it's 15-5, then the match is already over. But they are still playing, so... Yeah, I feel like there might have been an abort in there somewhere. So this is probably match point, if not beyond match point. So knight going to be good for Wurmpaka, but first he has to block the check. This guards the pawn more. Knight would win a queen, but Killer Beast attack really needs to worry about his king's safety. Like, work mates for Wurmpaka immediately. This is looking quite good for Penguin. Pawns on the 7th, or on the 2nd in this case. Very scary. Should play a, with a decent attack, but he's down time, and he's going to have to go to defense, because the attack is going to run out. Probably need to do pawn check remote tonight. He can do knight takes pawn, I guess. Well, no, I guess the rook will come in at e1. He's done a great job keeping attacking, but still down one second. And Penguin's going to clean up here. Knight takes pawn, then rook in. That's mate. GG's. So it shows me the score is 16-5, but I think final score is 15-5. Uh, Favorin, Al, uh, Penguin, and Wurmpaka. <laughs> yeah, it's always tough for Bughouse players to play chess players, because, like, the... Don't get me wrong, Penguin and Wurmpaka are very good at Bug House also, but if they can get up, you know, like 10 seconds, they can just chess you out. Okay, um, well, it's good that we got to see another match there. Let me check the calendar real quick, but that wasn't even on the calendar, and I don't think there's anything else coming up, but... uh. I'll check the Google form, see if anyone's submitted anything last minute. Nope. Alright, so we are going to finish the stream by raiding out. We're probably going to raid four player chess again. <laughs> uh, as we like support in variant streamers. Thank you everyone for joining me, I really appreciate it. Um, and thanks to players for giving us a great match to watch. That that comeback, even though short-lived, was very exciting. Uh, we see that when they're when they're on their game and coordinating well, it's a true player uh, and uh, J Killer, a really dangerous combination. Um. So yeah, uh, and if you're out there, you're playing in the Bugas World Championship. We're on the last weekend, so like if you can't give 24-hour notice, don't worry about it. Just get your match done. So these guys played on something like 10 minutes notice, and that's fine. It's The most important thing is to get your matches completed. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for joining me. We're going to send you to our friend 4-Player Chess. 
who's covering the four-player speed chess championships. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Bye, guys.